In an unexpected announcement, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness has told Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, that the British Commonwealth country intends to become fully independent. Key points, Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, are in Jamaica as a part of their tour of the Caribbean. Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, are in Jamaica as a part of their tour of the Caribbean Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, told the royal couple of plans for the country's independence. Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, told the royal couple of plans for the country's independence that revelation came as a surprise to many Jamaican residents. In their conversation on Wednesday, Mr. Holness said there were unresolved issues as he greeted Prince William and Kate in front of media. We are moving on, Mr. Holness said. We intend to fulfill our true ambitions and destiny as an independent, developed, prosperous country. If that happens, the former British colony would become only the second Caribbean island to sever relations with Queen Elizabeth II in recent years, with Barbados doing so in November. The royal couple, who flanked Mr. Holness on either side when he made the announcement, did not immediately react except for only a couple of brief head nods. Shock announcement surprises residents. The announcement surprised many on the island of nearly 3 million people, as well, and unleashed a flurry of text messages and phone calls. Nonprofit human rights organization Stand Up for Jamaica's director, Carla Galota, said her phone started buzzing just minutes after Mr. Holness made the announcement. I did not know that the Prime Minister was going to say what he said today. I think it is a very important step forward, Ms. Galota said. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge meeting the Jamaican bobsleigh team on their trip. The announcement comes a day after Ms. Galota and others joined a protest held hours before the royal couple arrived in Jamaica on Tuesday. Their week-long tour of Central America and the Caribbean was organized at the behest of the Queen to coincide with the 70th anniversary of her coronation. This visit has brought back to light that many Jamaicans are looking forward to Jamaica becoming a fully independent republic, Ms. Galota said, adding that the island had all the opportunities and potential to do so. However, she noted, many worry about ongoing government corruption, which has eroded people's confidence. If you do not trust those leading the country, it will be hard for people to take a stand, she said. Calls for compensation and apology. Veteran lawmaker Mike Henry also has told the AP that he worried demands for an apology and slavery reparations would not be addressed if Jamaica chose to become independent. Meanwhile, Ms. Galota said, she did not support reparations in the form of a check, which she called ridiculous. Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge shakes hands with children during a visit to Trench Town. Instead, she said, Jamaicans should be compensated in other ways, with things including scholarships and access to health care. What was not offered in the past should be offered now, she said. Britain has ruled Jamaica for more than 300 years forcing hundreds of thousands of African slaves to toil the land under brutal conditions. Jamaica gained its independence in August 1962, but remained within the British Commonwealth. Wires, 